yes, yes, yes. Tow Mater without the tow here to tell you my new formula to make tracks. Watch the whole video and you too can bear like me. Ka-chow! Ah! Welcome to the Cog Shifter, where today I'll be bringing you a showcase video of the Los Angeles International Speedway I built for my remake of the Cogs 1 Final Race. Be sure to like and subscribe and stop and stay a while for some movie facts at the end. California, here we the LA Speedway is the track of the final race in Colors 1. I started out on three layers of plywood and spray painted some bristle boards for the asphalt on the track and in field. NASCAR tracks have what's known as bank turns to keep the colors in control. I held it up with a foam base and triangles. It can be seen mostly in the turns and front and back stretch. There's also detail in the pit and yellow lines which I cut and glued as seen in the movie. The grass is fake grass which I cut in different pieces, glued down, and hand painted the stripe patterns and piston cup logos in. The walls are made of foam with decals I designed, cut, and glued in different pieces due to the length. The fence posts were made out of wooden sticks I cut in two to make lean in. The fence itself is a plastic wire fence I cut in pieces and trimmed down. Materials like the fence and foam also apply to the infield and pit wall. There's also the stand for the flag waiver Dexter Hoover in full detail made of paper and foam with a light indicating the race progress, and a paper checkered flag I glued on to be postable. There are also some spots near the flag stand for physical fans while the rest are all separately printed out on pieces of cardboard all around the track. As well, we have the stadium lights and palm trees on the top which are stood up using little cardboard pieces. We have the two big TVs. They are exactly the same made out of bristle board with two paper piston cups, two checkered flags on the sides, and three in the middle. Here's what it looks like with the picture. You see the TV many times throughout the movie, and for me, I printed out pictures I took and taped them on for the shot they're in. Next we have the booths at the announcers in Audubon Society and made out of Bristol board. I built a full scale model of this for the close up shots as well as the Dynaco booth. The middle section has the LA logos, three flags on top, two paper piston cups and two checkered flags on the side. Up next we have the entrance tower made of cardboard which I had to make double sided for the different shots it appears in. It has a checkered flag on top with a few levels and two side entrances with four doors. Both sides say LA Speedway with piston cup signs and different murals on both sides. There's two sections with the logo, checkered flags on both sides, posters inside, a traffic light, and checkered floor. In the movie, there's a stage by this tower for the broadcast that disappears afterwards. Next, we have the garages with four on each side of the track. There's detail by the doors, the doors being printed while the structure itself is bristle board. Next up are the sponsor tents, the most prominent in the movie being the Rusties and Dynaco ones. They're simply paper glued together with paper decals, the Rusties one having interior detail for student shops. The same thing goes for the background sponsors. Moving on to the Dynaco stage, which is also very iconic in the first and final race, made of colorboard covered in blue bristle board. It has many Dynaco and the King logos all over with a helipad designed for the 2007 toy of the Dynaco helicopter I customized. You can't have the Dynaco stage without the victory lane from the chick kicks defeat, so here it is. The stage and piston cup are made of cardboard I spray painted with a little garage in the back, similar to the ones from earlier. I also customized the piston cup from a Disney store launcher by removing the decals, spray painting it gold, and adding the champion plate. Nearby in the movie, there's some TV haulers with a piston cup, racing sports network, and racing TV, which I made using the Walmart hauler, the RSN one I spray painted. These all have paper satellites. Also nearby, there's what's meant to be a piston cup inflatable, made of cardboard with a foam base I spray painted. Also seen in the movie, there are merchandise, or concession haulers with the various popular sponsors such as Dynaco, Rusty's, Nitrate, Hostel Takeover Bank all lined up exactly as seen in the movie. They are all made with the same paper template I taped together. There is also the pit row entrance from the scene with Fred and Mario and Dreddy which I made out of bristle board and paper decals with the lettering on top. You may also remember the scoring pylon which I constructed from cardboard. It's surrounded by palm trees with a brick and grass base. The numbers and checkered flag are made of paper. Next are the pits with tons of accessories as seen in the movie, the most recognizable being the coochie stand which are all made using old templates from the forums with added detail by me. They're made of cardboard wrapped in these paper templates with paper clip antennas. The barriers are a foam bristle board with paper glued on. The accessories themselves in the pit consist of three tire racks, three trash bins, one for Chick Hicks because that's what he is, three sets of two Dynaco gas cans, gas tanks, two carts which are all the ones which already made, and three sets of four tires that I removed from each racer. I also made tool guns and signs for the pits, Guido's tool gun being the one from Mattel. I also used the three hollers made by Mattel, placing them in the exact same order as you see in the movie. Now moving on to custom die caps, which I'm sorry if there's any I missed, but you have a red SUV piston cup official safety car that appeared along the pit exit walls. There's a more accurate damage can using the lenticular one since I didn't want to ruin my regular one and felt it could be improved on in the torn spoiler and dirt detail. 
There's a stunt double or half damage kink for shots of the initial impact. There are different expression McQueens to display different emotion using swap mouthpieces. With the Sharpie pen I added some of the scuffs and rubber marks seen in the movie. There are opposed variants of chick and text made by removing the wheels for the very expressive scenes with the help of clay. Chick has his thunderbolt which they actually never made. There are also super new trucks with laser and piston cup accessories. There's a white sedan ice golfing on top of a plastic chick hicks that appears multiple times throughout the movie. There's a red pickup and silver cab I sculpted upon at the top down truck stop watching the race. With tiny pieces of paper I was able to make the chick hoodies with fallen mustaches. Same goes for the versions blocking Mater's Kachow which I cut the folks for and Mater which I unbolted the front and back. Of. There are custom expressions for me and Tia each time they're seen. There's a paper RV I glued together called Sid Vanderkamp, which in fact was planned but never released. Just like in the movie, he appears with all his palm trees and flamingos I made of clay with paper clips holding them up. There's another paper RV named Clayton and Gentle Beast who also never went into production. I added a piston cup on top for student scenes. You may remember the colors that spell out Piston Cup in the movie. These are called the Alpha Numeros, which there are 72 in the movie. These are one-sided, being made out of paper and taped together. A true nightmare to do. Now for some facts. The LA Speedway has elements taken from three different locations. The first being the LA Memorial Coliseum, which is mainly where the tower was inspired by. The shape and size are based off the Rose Bowl Stadium in LA. The announcer booths at the LA Speedway very much resemble the ones at the Rose Bowl. The winning stand Chick Hicks goes on is also inspired by the Hollywood Bowl. When McQueen's back was driving, he's actually not using mirrors. What? Those are called roof flaps in NASCAR, which pop up at a certain angle to control the car when spinning. Realistically, McQueen would have slowed down in the scene, but it's a movie. The pieces of rubber that fly off when the cars go by are actually called marbles, which burn off the tires. When Chick is showing off his new sea thunderbolt to McQueen, you may have noticed it should be backwards since it's forwards on Chick, but this detail is intentional to make it clear to the audience that it's the start of the Chick era. In the TV booth, there are 44 shots Pixar had to animate, 44 I took. The blue car named Artie is named after and voiced by Artie Kempner, who was a shot director for NASCAR and Fox and consultant for the race angles, because a lot of the shots look like they were on TV while they were also able to do new ones that wouldn't look normally possible in real life. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch the full final race and stay tuned for more facts and discussions from the Cars franchise like this. See you next time. Goodbye! Okay, I'm good.